Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Krishnan Dubai, a first year master student in data science and quality management science in Indian Statistical Institute. Sorry, I could not make video for a long time as my exams were going on, but now they are over. So I am back again. So last year I appeared for ISI MSQMS exam and the CMI MS data science exam, and luckily I have cracked both. In this video, I will share with you five tips which helped me to crack those two exams ISMS, QMS and CMIMS data science and I think these tips will help you to ask these exams too so let's begin tip number one practice all the previous year's questions thoroughly you have to practice all the questions each and every one this thing helped me a lot for these two exams uh, the ISA MSQMS exam was started I guess 2014 batch was the first batch 2014 to 2016 so you will get from 2015 to 2020 you will get six question papers to practice all that I, I think you will get a whole idea of how is the question pattern similar for CMI data science exams it started from 2018 and there is there is three sets 2018 2019 and 2020 you have to practice all the questions i have an announcement in the later part of this video so please stay tuned for that tip number two suppose you are not a student right now. suppose you are a professional who is working in somewhere and you want to appear for those exams so you are away from studies for a long time so tip number two is start from the basic suppose when you are practicing the question paper previous year's question papers suppose it stuck in a question suppose it is from integration i am taking an example so go back to your class 11 12 integration part and check the theorems check all the concepts and clear the concepts first it is very important and then Again, come to the question papers and try to solve. Similar for in every part of the syllabus. Tip number three, it is for the materials which can be used for preparation for these exams. Actually, for me, I did not follow any particular book or something like that. But if you want, for ISIMS QMS exams, there is a website called sitanujit.org which is made by Dr. Tanuji Chakraborty, an alumni of this MSQMS course. He's, the, he's one of the students of the first batch of MSQMS. So in his blog, there is a QMS section where you can find some materials which actually helped me. And there are some name of some books are mentioned. If you want, you can follow those books. For CMI MSC data science, in the syllabus, there's the name of some books are mentioned if you want the books are available online you can check that out those books are helpful for that exam especially for if you are not familiar very much with programming there is a book related to programming questions which i think will help you tip number four practice from other resources suppose you have completed all the previous questions now I'm taking one example in the discrete mathematics section there's a principle called pigeon hole principle so you can search in the google pigeon hole principle examples or questions you will get some questions related to pigeon hole principle I'm taking just one example start practicing those questions even if I mentioned some books were written in the CMI syllabus in their book in those books in the exercises of these chapters you can find a lot of examples you don't have to try everyone but to practice from these sources also now the final tip tip number five understanding the exam paper and give your best in the isms qms exam the exam is divided into two parts one is the mcq part and the other one is subjective part. in the mcq part you will get 30 questions 
each questions have four options among them one single is correct in the marking system there is negative marking so be careful for that if you are not getting a question please don't try to point out any random answer because there is negative marking in the subjective part in there are total eight questions and more or less each year all the eight questions are two parts i mean there is mainly 16 questions marks are divided in the some order so suppose you are not getting a questions full but you are working the problem in a part you will get part marks so in every step try to provide the cause for every action in your problem it is very important after the written exam you have to face an interview so in the interview they mainly ask questions from your exam paper itself if you pass the written exam when you will enter the interview room or maybe it may be in online mode i don't know your answer sheet will be on the hand of the interviewer and they will ask you suppose in the question number 2 you you have done x y z something they will ask why did you choose to do this problem like this way why not the other way or can you suggest any other way to solve this problem you may have to face this type of questions in the interview and, and suppose you are you are mentioning that i have done this problem because some x y z reasons and you are giving some name of some theorem they i have used this theorem so they will ask about this theorem why have you used this what do you mean by this theorem how it can be derived like this type of questions you may have to face in the exam. for isi exam you will get 2 hours for the mcq part there is 30 questions and 2 hours for the subjective part there is 8 questions now for the cmi exam you will get total 3 hours they are maybe 20 mcq and 20 subjective or they are maybe 18 mcq 18 subjective each year it had the marks distribution it varies each year in the mcq part there may be a single option correct or maybe multiple option in the cmi exam there is no negative marking so try to answer as many as mcq part you can solve if you cannot solve try to give guess something like that that's it now there is an announcement which i told earlier in the video when i was preparing for icms qms and cmi data science exam i used to get stuck at some problems i searched in the youtube or internet but ha huh, there are some videos about them but not in a structured way there are no videos like solving the questions or something like that so i am planning to start a playlist for solving the all the previous years questions for icms qms and cmi data science exams in this playlist i will solve the questions and upload the videos and you, you can check that out so in the next video i will provide a plan suppose how am i going to continue the playlist for the icim skms exam first and then the cmi data science exam first stay tuned for that if you like this video please press the like button please share this to any friend or anyone you know who is appearing for these two exams it will be very very helpful for them and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon